Hey everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbook needs and more, plenty more, I can assure you of that. You will not visit that website and not find something you have to have. And I hope one of the things you have to have is this Minte collection that we have been working with. Um, today I want to just revisit the book that we did to add the, um, inserts now that I'm coming to the very end of my, um, actual, uh, paper. Um, I wanted to, uh, just kind of recap what we've made so far and then get, dive into the book and add our inserts and, you know, maybe some tags, we'll make some tags. We'll see what, what scraps we have left um, and figure out what we want to do. Um, but I did want to first just kind of recap what we've done so far. We, we've made this beautiful six by six book with this collection. Now, mind you, I had for this collection, I had a 12 by 12 pad, a six by six pad, and I had the cardboard sticker sheets um, and the paper cuts. So those are the pieces that I had. And you you can see all that we have made with just a small amount of paper. We made this amazing folio. So if you haven't seen this, um, make sure that you look it up and see because we've made that as well. We made a beautiful wreath with our final big paper that we had left. We made an adorable mini book and I did fix the bow for those of you wondering. I did have it wrong. Um, so I did fix my bow and now it looks the way it's supposed to. Um, but we did make this three by four journal book and we also made this adorable shadow box. Um, and the only thing I did add to the shadow box for those um, a B crystal stickers. I did add one to the each of the flowers, a big one for this one and a smaller one for that one, just in case um, you would like to know. So we've gotten quite a few projects done. We still have the six by six mini. Um, we have a sheet of the six by six mini journaling cards, and I'm still vacillating as to what I would like to make with those but I always like to recap with you what we've made because as you can see just with two paper pads it's gone a, a very long way so okay let's talk about this book I put on my desk here the scraps of paper I have left now these two, I'm not going to cut into because these are those little six by six cards and I may make a mini book out of them. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with these yet. So these I'm leaving to the side and what I probably will do since I'm leaving those to the side is I might leave. That's how wide is this? Uh, this is two and a half and these are I think these are one by one no they're actually one by two okay so with that being said hmm I'm thinking that I want to make a little teeny tiny book with these and if I make a little teeny tiny book with these I'm gonna need to make a cover for it and so I'm just looking at my scraps before we start cutting into them to decide what we could use we could definitely use this strip for the cover um, probably use that side um, for the cover and I'm, I'm not going to need all of it, but I'm just pre thinking because I don't want to cut into something and then say, Oh, why did I do that? I needed that. Um, so I think I'm going to leave these together. So these were the two final pieces and this strip I'm going to leave to the side because I think that's all I'm going to need for my little teeny tiny book. All right. 
so now let's move forward with working on where we want to kind of fill in in our book we definitely want to put our page inserts in we didn't want to do a lot of um we didn't want to do a lot oh that's coming up a little bit i'm gonna to have to fix that i don't know why that came up like that i'm gonna fix that right now though guys um while we're talking these chipboard stickers i think the problem with them is that they are so thick that the adhesive that's on them they need a little extra oomph so i know that we said we don't want to do too much to the pages because we want to let the actual we want the paper to stand out so i don't want to be like putting too much stuff in um but i do want to add inserts to each of the pages and the page inserts are five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and you will need four of them so i thought the first thing that we could do is maybe take some of the scraps of paper and just kind of glue it to the edge of the insert page and maybe put a, a little die cut or something here, whatever we have left, just so it looks cute when you pull it out, but yet we're not adding a ton of paper to it because we don't have a ton of paper left. So I think that's what we will do. I have a couple of those strips left. So let's let's work on that and then we'll, we'll move forward. That's a nice size strip, okay. And we'll probably have to cut some of this, but we need four. So there's four. This one's going to be a little thin on the thinner side. I don't know if I like that. Or if I want it to be that way. I'm just, I don't know if I want to cut into this yet. So I'm kind of just utilizing what I see right in front of me. So let me move this book up a little bit. And let's start by doing a strip here. I'm going to use art glitter glue. And then I may either tape. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the embellishments. So I don't know if we're going to stick them down or how we're going to do them. But we'll use art glitter glue. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm doing it right and I know this was a little taller than my piece, so I'll put this here, put this here, and then I'll cut the difference off. Okay, and then we did have this lovely tree, so maybe we put the tree on this. No, maybe we'll do that with the green one. Um, let me look at the die cuts here to see what we have going on. My little ornaments. We used quite a few. I do like these circles. These circles would be cool in the present. Let's see what we got. One, two, three. And a lantern. Maybe these could be like the poles. So that when it sticks out, it'll stick out of the page and you'll know to pull this. I'll show you what I mean when I do that, when I glue this. I'm only going to glue part of this. And then you'll see exactly what I mean. So I'll put that there. Glue that on. And now when this is in the page, you know to pull. To pull that. Okay, and these are going to stick out a little bit. Oh, did I put it in the wrong side? There we go. There we go. So it does stick out a little bit. And I like that. So that's that one. Now we have this to fill up here. And this page has the pockets. 
So this page, I'm thinking we can definitely use this, and I definitely want to use it like a book to score it. So let me score this in half. And I was going to get out the scoreboard, but I think I, I think I can handle it for one little piece here. Although the scoreboard does make it much nicer. Let me just use this bone holder here. Okay. And so I'm going to put this in here like that. And then we have another one, the Nutcracker guy. So I'll put him up here too. Put him in the pocket. And oh, we have another one. And I don't think we have pockets anywhere else. Let me just say no. Well, we do have pockets here and here that we already took care of. Oh, we got to put something behind the belly band. All right. So I think I'm going to put all these in here. Oh, how did my thing get stuck there? All right. So there we have it. So we have a little booklet. We have the little nutcracker guy. You know, we have that filled nicely. So then the next page, we're going to do our insert. And again, just using my scraps here. Oh, I really like that other side too. That would have been a nice one to use, but that's okay. I wanted the green because of the uh, tree. All right, and then got some glue there. It's okay. It dries clear. I was thinking of putting the tree on this insert, but I do want to cut the bottom a little bit more because it's not sitting. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. And then we'll put our little pull tab on this one as well. Just trying to fill in the blanks, so to speak. Just filling in the pages. And get a little more packed in here. There we go. And then I think I'll use the lantern as the pull for this. So I'm going to just put a little bit on one side and maybe I'll put this one up here. So they're all different heights. Okay, so there's our next insert and you got to find where it goes. Get in there. Getting hung up on something. So there's our little insert there. Okay. Now, these guys are a problem. <laughs> They're a problem because I don't have uh, a lot of stuff left to stick in them. So let's have a little think. You know what? Let's finish these first. Let's do that. Let me let me finish these first, just so I can get them stuck in, and then we'll see what we have left to maybe put in there. There we go. Oh, I did it the wrong way. That's okay. I'll do the next one the right way. Hopefully this will fit nice. Yeah. Okay. We'll get all our inserts in and then we'll, we'll check out what we can maybe do for those. I might have to take some stuff out of the other pockets. All right. Thank you. 
All right. And then this one is going to have a present pull tab. There's no rhyme or reason to where I'm putting these guys. Just wherever I think it should go. So this one goes in here. I forgot how chunky this album was with all this other, all the layering we did. So there's that one. And then we have one more and we have another circle for that one. And let's see, where could I put the circle? I'll put the circle probably like right here. Yeah. And this is where you would put your, obviously your pictures. Let me just pull out things here. Very nice. Okay. So those are cute. All right. Now this was the belly band and we did not put anything behind the belly band yet so why don't we take some scraps and maybe make a tag yep and again you see what i'm doing guys there's no perfect measurements here i'm just really winging it I'm taking some black that we had left. I'm taking whatever we have. And I'm just putting it, putting it on the black. I have a little extra one of these can go on the top. And then we remember we have to put paper behind that because it's sticky back. So don't forget to do that. So we have this. Maybe we'll put a little. Uh, I think that might be too big. Joyful noise. Yep. But remember, I'm going to add some tape to this only because they're really thick. So we're just, you know. We're using every scrap at our disposal here. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up just with a few, a few little things left and that will be it. A joyful noise there. And whoop, that can go in our belly band. And maybe we want something tall, tall and thin. I don't know. Let me cut this. Ah. Sometimes I could see it really good and sometimes not so good. Okay, I like that. Where's my little pencil so I can mark this? And you guys see, there's no uh, no wrong way. You know, we're just utilizing up the scraps and just adding some things into the book. that down. There we go. And what I'm going to put on this. Oh, 
Put Caroline down here. Yep. Just checking my phone, make sure it's not my daughter. I don't know about you guys, but I am just having so much fun doing these projects. I really am. I missed you guys so much. Um, I hope they understand. I really had to just do it my way, though. I really needed to be able to do it in a, a safe atmosphere and a, a way for me to be able to get back to you, but still not still protect my family and my sanity and my peace and my joy and for a long time I didn't have joy and I really wasn't interested in, in crafting anymore um, and now I am and I'm, I'm really really having so much fun and I appreciate you all sticking by us um, me more than May, um, <laughs> because you've always been support so supportive. Um, I've just missed you guys, and I'm I'm so grateful to have this platform to be able to do it in a in a way that I want to do it, and not have to worry about problems and drama and all of that nonsense. Um, because I really, I really could not take that. <laughs> and I know it was very difficult, you know, to see me one day and then not see me anymore. But I hope that you understand that it was self-preservation. And it was fight or flight mode, basically. And I don't like to dredge up the past, but... And I'm not going to. I'm just saying that I'm grateful for this opportunity to be back with all of you. And I missed you probably more than you guys even missed me. Um, because I did. I missed you tremendously. I, I truly did. And I'm just so happy to be back. And I hope that you're happy too. I just appreciate all your, your love and support because it does mean so, so much to me. And I know it means so much to me too. And, you know, we're having a ball. And I hope you guys are having a ball right along with us. So see what I'm doing, guys? I'm just taking what's left of the paper. I mean, not much left. <laughs> I still don't know if I want to cut into this yet because I don't know what I might need it for. So it's kind of like I'm just utilizing every little last, last bit and seeing. But maybe we can put this one in here. There we go. Okay, so we have those all done. It's just these guys and these guys, I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling too concerned about those. I think that you could probably, you know, I mean, we could, let's say, let's take these two out. Let me put one here and one here. Again, I think they're going to need a black background so let's see what we have to make them a little bit bigger yeah we'll use this sheet okay but my daughter thank goodness for my daughter she basically did all the decorating for me this year because I was so sick and I really really wanted my decorations up 
uh, I love seeing my decorations. <laughs> so uh, I might use a. I'm gonna put this one down here, and then I'll cut them with my paper cutter because we all know I'm not that great with the cutting. So yeah, so those are all, all up and I'm so happy. I'm so happy that's done. I like to have it up before Advent starts and Advent started uh, yesterday. So if you are like me and celebrate Advent, happy Advent season. I hope it is a wonderful Advent for you. I hope it really um, gives you a chance to really contemplate and think about the the birth of our Lord and in doing so I hope that that brings you so much joy uh, a lot of people asked if I was gonna do like a Bible study before I do my crafts I, I noticed a couple of uh, questions about that um, because I know that some of you really like that that is something I have to talk to May about because this is her channel and I don't ever want to do anything that oh that guy got a little crooked there um, that disrupts that you know what I'm saying it's you know I have to respect her channel and she's been so gracious to let me do my thing on here I don't have to ever run anything by her <laughs> she just says go ahead do it you know um she's given me free reign as far as what you know if i want to work on something or have an idea for something she's she's so good like that guys i mean she really truly is she she just she makes it so enjoyable I'm going to have to cut up that piece because I want two more in here. I'm just tracing this piece because I like the size of this. And then, how wide are these? Hmm. I'm going four, so maybe four and a half. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah, except I'm only gonna have enough for one. Ah, that's the bummer. But we'll figure something out. Because I cut into that for my my bow. And I apologize guys for this messy desk. I know it feels like everything is everywhere, and you know what? It is. <laughs> Everything is everywhere, but yes, I like that. Maybe shave a little bit more. No, I like it like that. My split decisions. You guys know that will never change. little bit of a border it's very interesting because I never work with black and these last two things I've worked with so much black between the um what did we do the uh I'm just gonna say time of wonder that's what this is what did we do that was black guys uh the prima we use so much black in the prima one that would be cute to put the star there. Yeah. Yeah, the pre the um Frank Garcia one. I have 31. Oh my gosh. I forgot. We did so many projects with that one too. Let's get that centered. Maybe get a word. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to shake you up. Okay, here comes Santa Claus. And this one. Okay, 
we go. Well, actually, I could maybe put that one in the back pocket. If that star was a little bit shorter, I didn't count on that, guys. I might have to bring that star down a little bit more. Uh, and trying not to wreck the paper in the process. Luckily, I'm going to go over that same spot so won't have that many problems. Try to cover up where I made the mess. There we go. And then this one could go in here. Ah, there we go. So we have an insert there, an insert there. Now we just need one more. And this page is not going to do it because I cut out all right let's have a look see around let's look around see if we see anything i mean i guess i could do like a two-tone oh that has presents down there hmm let me think about this for a second. I like the I like those presents there, so let me let me put this first. So I just have my presents, and then maybe we can make. Well, let me cut away and see how much I have of this. that I do like that side except the chandelier is the uh, going the wrong way so we have to use this side but I'm wondering am I too big not enough there guys you know I'm gonna I'm going to salvage oh that actually is a cool idea. First of all, all right, I have an idea. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Save everything because you just never know what you're going to use it for. I love saving it all because I use every scrap. Look at this. We'll make it like a. Let me put a little pencil mark here. And. Pencil mark here. See, so just that curve of whatever we decided that we were going to cut out of that. Look, now we're making it into a pocket. I am going to have to bring it up a little bit, so I am probably going to have to trim that a tiny bit. Make it into a little pocket. How cool is that? This is what I mean about using every everything. Because you just never know. I'm just going to cut this a little bit so we still have some black border. And I can put my presents in there. And I can put a little little flag up here. Jingle bells. Yeah. Let me add some tape to this. This is the fun part at the end, you know, when you're at the end of the project and you're just, you know, utilizing everything you have left and just kind of throwing it all in there and, and seeing what you like, what you don't like. I might put a word on here too or something else. We'll see. Yeah, 
gonna put that there. This I feel like needs a black, a black border. Yep. I guess because everything else has a black border, I feel like that needed a black one too. Cute. Cute. I like, oh yeah, I like that much better. And then I want a word. How about we do jingle all the way? Ooh. Jingle all the way. I love it. We could actually. Mm, I like that idea. Give it a little pop. Let's see. This is what I do, guys, at the end of every book I make. You know, I start off with the, the bare minimum of, you know, what I need for each page. And I don't start cutting up everything else until I'm absolutely, positively, 100% sure that is what I'm going to, how I'm going to want it. all the way and maybe put a little thing there yeah a little ornament we'll put the ornament on this side so you can see it better and then jingle all the way oh my goodness guys we're really really getting to the end pieces there we go cute so now we have an insert for this pocket as well and then so we have inserts for everything oh i want to put my little rhinestones on on these now that i have them out and i did find the other ones guys that were hidden i don't know if my cat took them or somebody took them but i do want to put these on here Look. Okay. So we have the two inserts then, one for each pocket, which I love. And then I still want something else in that pocket over there. Oh, do I see another pattern piece of paper hold it oh, what's that oh that's still from the those little guys those little guys let's see I have one strip of this hmm. oh, I'm gonna save that these are too small for this scale book. All right. So maybe we'll make a little, another little tag for in there with the remaining. Do I want that? Yeah. With the remaining little pieces we have left. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with those tiny little And I know you guys are probably all like, oh my gosh, she doesn't even like lay her thing flat. No wonder everything's crooked, Michelle. <laughs> but that's how I roll. Put this on the top of this one. And we have to remember to put a little piece behind it. Because it is sticky on the other side. Okay. 
May is probably laughing when she watches these videos because, first of all, she knows how haphazard I am. But second of all, oh, that's cute. Now I need something for the back. Um, she knows that I have to use everything. I am not happy unless I've used everything. I do like that. I will cut that down. Okay. That's good. Do we want it to be this? A little lighter shade or do we want it to be dark? Hmm. I think the dark. I think the dark. Do I trust myself to cut this? I think so. Perfect. Okay, we have another little disc that we can use. This is a pretty one. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm not big into hoarding paper. Let me start by saying that. I don't really hoard paper. I use it all. But let me tell you, I'm really considering <laughs> getting another set of this because... I love it so much and you know they always come out with different ones so it will never be just like this I'll put a word on this one hmm. I wonder if that will fit Tis the season to be jolly I don't know if it's gonna be too big but let me see yeah that will fit Maybe piece of tape. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't hoard, but I don't know. This one's, this one is like saying to me, Michelle, you really need another set. <laughs> you really need another set because you're, you're going to need it. Some, someday you're going to say, why didn't I have more of that? Why did I use every strip of it? It's the season to be jolly. Hmm. Put that down there. There's that. That can go in this pocket. Ooh. That is a pocket, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. And then we have our little booklet here. So cute. All right. Let's see what what's left of our page of our paper. If I can add anything else to it. Let's see how those are sticking out. I like them sticking out, but I don't know if I like them sticking out that much. And I am at the bottom there, which is weird because these are six. This is six by six. So the five and seven eighths should have definitely worked. I'm going to trim these. I don't like them sticking out as much as they're sticking out. So I'm going to trim the one side of them. I want them to stick out, but not that much. So not a problem these were five and seven eighths I'm gonna make them five and a half on the one side yeah for some reason I just didn't like how that was sticking out so
Let's do this five and a half. Okay, I'm gonna see if I like that better. I think I will. And now I'm thinking, let's see what kind of an order I could put these in so that they look, you know, everything's sticking out a certain way. I like that. So I'm just going to change the or order a little bit here. Get in there. Oh, much better. Oh, guys, I like that so much better. Do five and a half. If you're going to do little pull tags, do five and a half. It's much better. Trust me. Trust me. It's much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that much better. I didn't want things to be sticking out of the book. See, it's still sticking out of the book. I still didn't want it to be sticking out of the book that much. Do I go even smaller? This is this is the game I play when I'm doing my books, guys. Mm -hmm. I did five and a half. Hmm. Maybe five and a quarter. That's not really going to take much off. What do we do? Five. If I mess up one, I can always fix one, but I can't fix them all. So let me. Oh, yeah. Do five. Now I just and say it. Michelle, you just told us to do five and a half. And now you're telling us do five. But I think the five is is the better bet because I don't like I don't like stuff sticking out that much. So it's five and seven eighths tall by five wide. Yeah much better yeah that that would that would really bother me and again it's like trial and error guys you know what i mean like sometimes you gotta keep taking something out putting something back in you know until you actually you know find what you really like now some people might say i really like them sticking out a lot I just don't like that for me because I don't want my ribbons to be a problem. And I really like my ribbons. So, all right. <laughs> this is the funny part. This right here, you get the, oh, I have a strip too. Get the black pieces. In fact, I'm going to move these out of my way here because I don't I want something in my way. I got my little. All right, guys. So, out of all of the paper, look at what we have left. This is it. That's it. That's all she wrote. This pa this paper is so cute. This little piece. Could I put it on? I'm going to glue it onto this piece of paper and then see if I can put it somewhere because I like it. I think it's so cute. All right, so we'll see what we can do with that piece.
but you can see <laughs> I don't even have enough to do my little, uh, you know, my favorite little punches. I don't think I have enough to even do those. Let me see. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Let me try it. Maybe I can get one scallop out of it. Maybe one. You know how much I love to have my, uh, oh, that's cutting it close. There's my one scallop. I don't have a, I know I don't have something big for this one inch one. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. Hold on. Look at that. All right. Then I have a little, look at this. All right. <laughs> I want to just use it all. Oh, May, aren't you so proud? <laughs> she knows I'm happy. She knows I'm happy when all the... All of it's used. Wouldn't that be cute to put on top there? Too bad that wasn't wider. Let's see. Yeah. Why not? Have a bookmark looking. Nothing left to waste. Stick that in there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, so here we have it, guys. Not enough to punch now. Nope. Not enough. Not enough. I think this is when I'll have to say... I'll save that piece. And I'll save that piece. But the rest, we have to say goodbye to. <laughs> All right, so let's look at our book one more time just to see what we did. So remember the first page we used as the photo page. We have our insert. And then we flip it. And then here we have all of our little cut aparts our little mini book here this is loaded then this flips up double flips and we didn't put anything else on there we have our insert and then these pages we did two inserts on each side these were our kissing pages our mirror image pages so we did those and we have our insert and then this was the belly band page I'll open it again we did put two things behind the belly band super cute super cute oh also if you didn't get any seam binding yet from May the seam binding is awesome I love it I think you'll love it too I'm a big seam binding snob <laughs> I only like certain seam binding, um, and this seam binding is so wonderful, and it gets crunchy really good, and what I mean by that is, like, I like to roll it up and make it look, um, you know, vintage and crinkly, and this crinkles great, and then we have this page, which is our little flip-flap page, adorable, and again, we taught that was seam binding, hold it shut we didn't use magnets in this book 
and I kind of like seeing all the ribbon, especially for holidays, you know. And then our last sheet, we have a, whoa, it's falling in there. We have an insert there and then the back. And so there we have it. So we did make it a, a, a lot fuller by adding all those things to it, which was great because we did make our spine rather big to give us that ability to do so because we knew we were going to add more stuff to it. Um, and we did. And so now our book is done. So now the only thing that you guys are waiting on for me to figure out to do is what to do with the little baby the little baby pieces. I do have some some of these left. Not a lot, but some. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Let me just put these in here so they don't get lost. But we will make a little baby book, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. And that will finish out our Minte series so that we can then start working on uh, I think what I'm going to do next. Well, I don't know yet. I know it's going to be one of the Chow Bellas, so you'll just have to tune in and wait and see what I do. Um, also, for those of you who had that, the bow punch that I used, the um, Stampin' Up! bow punch, what I did wrong. Remember I said, oh, it looked really too elongated? They get layered one on top of the other, and that is where I messed up. So just so you know, for the future, um, if you have that, and I'll show you on the little book before I forget, I, you have to layer one of these on top of the other, not elongate them. And I had elongated them. So that is why it didn't look right. Remember I kept saying, it doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. And then I remembered what I did wrong. And I said, oh, I got to tell everybody in case they find that punch or they get that punch. Um, but if you have a die cut that does it, you won't have a problem either. You know, I think you'll be, you'll, I think you'll be fine. Get rid of the garbage there. So there you have it, guys. I love these. I just, I, I love everything as a set. You know, I just, I, I love it all. I'll display it all. Um probably won't put pictures in it. It's weird. I never put pictures in my books. Um, probably because I enjoy the paper too much. I think, I really think that's why I, I just really love the paper. So, but yeah, look at that little mini. And then if we have an even tinier one, which we will, it's going to be so stinking adorable. So anyway, there you guys have it. That is, we finished our book. Finally, I told you we were going to revisit it and just you know add a few more things to it and you saw what I have left <laughs> nothing now um, except a few little things so I really did utilize you know most of the color almost the entire almost every sheet so and I like that I love that I was able to do that and so I will thank you for watching thank you for spending your afternoon with me I hope you enjoy the videos and until the next time, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.